Hello and welcome to a, another episode, another episode of Coffinated. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And we're in a different seat than we normally sit in. Yep, and I'm laughing because our two dogs are currently sitting staring at us like they're our producers of this episode. So Aren't they, though? This has been produced by Shaggy, Shaggy and, D.O.G., yep, and Bailey. Bailey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... I had a whole name for him. I mean, we usually just call him Baylor, Baylorton J. Balesworth. Yeah. He's got lots of names. All the dogs always have had lots of names, but they're both watching very intently right now because mm-hmm. coffee means breakfast, and they've already had breakfast, so they're confused. Yeah. But it is breakfast time. It is breakfast time. Yes. It is actually in the morning. <clears throat> but we're not here to talk about breakfast. We're here to talk about coffee. De coffee. So today, we're drinking Max Happy Coffee. Coffee with a cause, locally roasted in small batches, and it happens to be locally roasted in Rockford, um, but it is to support um, a good cause. Um, there's a place called Warp Corpse. Um, their little slogan thing is live, learn, love, lead, and um, they worked with Java Mania Roastery here in Rockford, Illinois, mm-hmm. and they made the Max Happy Blend. So I'm just going to read a little bit about Warp Corp. Uh, The mission of Warp Corp is to bring a prevention-based community center to engage young people who need a place to go, to pursue positive activities with people who care, and to provide safe alternatives to the negative forces they face every day. Buying our coffee directly supports our grassroots effort to bring peer-to-peer support now. Young people struggle in silence and the results can be devastating. With your help, we can make a difference in preventing suicide and help end the opioid crisis in our community. Now, we met these guys at a uh, ice cream It was this huge ice cream con kind of thing. Yeah, Yeah. it was weird. Uh, I mean, not weird, but it was was amazing. I forgot the actual name of it, but it was in Crystal Lake. Yeah. And And I think that's where they're located. We met them there because, you know, Laura's always on the lookout for, for new coffees. And they were like, hey, come check out our coffee. And we went and talked to them. And super nice. And they told us the whole story about how this started. And if you get a chance, go check out their website. I'll throw up the link here. Yeah. Uh, and read the whole story. But uh, the guy who was kind of the main pitch man, he's like, once you've had this coffee, this is the best coffee you'll ever have. And you will never find another better coffee. Yes. And we've been sitting on this for a while because obviously life gets in the way. And... Uh, We've been very anxious to try it because we love good coffee, and this guy really sold us on the idea that it's good coffee. Yeah. So. And so there's no information on, like, the notes or, like, what the flavor is supposed to be. I think it's just supposed to be a plain, you know, kind of, like, regular um, morning kind of blend coffee. Um, Oh, these are our mugs today. My mom and dad got us best dog mom and best dog dad for our anniversary. I think it was for our anniversary. Yeah. Yeah. So. I was trying to see if there's any more. We tried to be the best dog mom and dog dad. I mean, we're we're at least, you know, best in the house. Uh, Incidentally, if I can find out more information as I'm editing this later, I'll try and throw it up here if there's anything. Like the notes. Like as far as, right. Yeah. Beans, where they come from, that sort of thing. Yeah. But. uh, What do you think of the smell? I mean, it smells like, like. Like you go and you sit down at a at a nice restaurant and yes. actually have decent coffee, and they you know say, "Hey, would you like some coffee?" And then they pour you. And that's what it smells like. Yeah, it doesn't smell like you know the bland stuff that you get sometimes. Not every place you know has bland coffee, but you know when it's just like, I don't know, regular Maxwell House or whatever. Like, good Lord, I hope nobody's serving Maxwell. Not <laughs> Maxwell House, I, whatever. Well, maybe you know. I don't know. They might be good now. I am sure they're fine. Like but, Folgers is huge these days. Right. Uh, and they're not just making instant coffee anymore, kids. Um, yeah. But when we when we first opened the bag, these are whole beans. Uh, the, the smell of the beans was delightful. Um, yeah. When I ground them up, it smelled delightful. Yep. When it was, uh, you know, doing its thing over there in a slow drip, it was delightful. Um, so. so, you want to try it? Let's do it to Clink it. Clink before you drink. Oh, I forgot to say it. Clink before you drink. <laughs> I was thinking about the coffee. We haven't had any coffee yet this morning, though. Also, we have this delightful sign that was provided to us by our friends that we spent Christmas with. 
last night? Yeah, coffee, because murder is just wrong. So, thank you, Angela and Steve and Sam. Shaky's top. Hmm. It's definitely got a... Uh, Dark roast? A punch to it, yeah. <clears throat> I, I don't know, it's, it's somewhere in the middle? Almost reminds me of, like, the death coffees. You know, that... You Dead know, City Coffee? No, the Death Ones, the... Oh, Death Wish? Yes, Death Wish. Almost. Hmm. Not quite as strong. Strong. But... It, it definitely has a... And again, you know, I, I try to measure everything out to make sure it is as close to... As correct as possible. Um, and when you grind the beans, it has a thing that automatically tells you how much you need for the amount of water. So, I followed the directions. But it, uh, it definitely is not a... Light roast, and no. it's definitely not a uh, watered down kind of. I'm a coffee. It's you know I'm a coffee. You know like that. that yeah, it, it, I I think that when Joel was saying that it smelled like you know when you go to a restaurant and they've got like a decent cup of coffee, that's what it tastes like too. You know it's it's a little stronger. I it, it's it's a little bitter. I think on the end, kind of you know just kind of lingering a little bit. Um, but not, not in a horrible way or anything like that. It, it, I definitely don't really taste any notes of anything. It reminds me of the, uh, the coffee at, um, Magpie. <laughs> Which means nothing to the people that were watching. If but, you, if you live locally in Rockford, there's a little restaurant that we've talked about before called Magpie. And they they get their coffee through. You like uh, Magpie. Java Mania. Yeah. Yeah. It's Java Mania blend. Yeah. Um, I don't know what the actual, if it's made for them or not. But it yeah. very much reminds me of that. I would say cup that of this coffee. is like an upscaled version of um, like a diner, <laughs> diner coffee. Yeah, but it's 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 a little above a medium, but it's not quite a dark. Yes, like I can handle this. I usually like light roasts, so um, yeah, this isn't bothering me by any means. You know, I'm not like uh, uh, you know. Sometimes they're like super. It's just a very dark. <laughs> We're looking at our dog because he's over there, like licking the tripod. He's much. right underneath the camera, licking things. So if the camera mm -hmm. moves, that's shaggy. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it's got it's a very rich, full-bodied kind of earthy. I think is the best way to describe yeah. it. It's got kind of that real kind of like root vegetable-y kind of thing going on. And I don't mean it tastes like vegetables. No. I just mean like you know earth. When you pull a, a root vegetable out of the earth and you look at it and you see the dirt kind of. That's kind of, not that it tastes dirty, but that's kind of the thing. It's very, uh, like, organic, like, fresh, like, unfiltered kind of, yeah. this is coffee sort of thing is, I guess, what I'm trying yeah. to say. So, would you drink this again? Uh, I mean, we're going to have to. we got a huge no, bag I, of it. No, would you, though? Yes. It has nothing to do with the huge bag. <laughs> would you yeah. drink it again? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I mean, I don't know where this falls in terms of, like, all the coffees that I've had recently, but yeah, definitely. I mean, you know me, I like coffee yeah. that you can taste that's got, you know, something, a bottom to it, and uh, this meets all the qualifications. And, you know, purchasing their coffee, it's going to a good cause, too, so that's always kind of nice. Is it the best coffee I've ever had? No. As he promised? Yeah. No. No. Sorry, buddy. But. It's pretty good, it though. It is a damn good Cup yeah, of coffee. I think this is like nice in between, like you know, some of the funky flavors and stuff that we get. Yeah, it's a little bitter. It That's does what I was have saying. a little bit, like yeah. you were saying. I, I'm getting that. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, I keep trying to cleanse. I my feel like it'd be really good if you like cream in your coffee. Like it, it would just cut that little bit of bitterness, I think, and then um, you know, just make it like perfect. But it, I'm not a lot of coffees. I always talk about how you, there's a, a chocolate note to it, and I'm not. I know, this is I one coffee I'm not getting that with. Nope. No, it's more like nutmeggy or something, or like, uh, what was I saying, chestnut? Oh, <laughs> you know? no, let's not go chestnut. chestnut. We had a chestnut flavor coffee that was... We threw it out. Of overpowering. Course. Yeah. Gross. Uh, so, out of five zombies, out of ten zombies, I think we originally wanted to do five. It's, I have, I have the artwork that I put together ten. that is, Out of ten, ten zombies. Yeah, it's a lot of zombies. It's been a little while since we've done a caffeinated review. What would you give it? Um, out of ten, I'm gonna go six and a half. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a six. It's better than average, uh, but like not the very, very best. 
Oh, yeah, like that one with the mouthfeel. Remember, I was freaking out about that one copy. <laughs> with the mouthfeel? Ooh, yeah, it was so good. Yeah, I, that smooth, velvety, like, coffee that I had that was, like, the mouthfeel on it was, like, next level. Go back and watch your old caffeinated episodes. <laughs> I don't remember it was probably it was. two or three episodes It was episodes the one I got ago. in Galena. I think it was and, the Galena Roasters one. Oh, yeah, she, you love the Galena Roasters people. You want to, like, hang out with them. And, I do. I want to be your friend. And shake their hands. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so thank you much, much. Thank you very much for watching. This is early, not early in the morning, but it's early enough. This is like the first time I've had some talkings. <laughs> if you'd like to find us, you can find Thank us you. at thenewlydeads.com. <laughs> Throw the link up there. Uh, hopefully to be renovated sometime here in the new year. We've got a lot of plans we've been working on. So Yeah, I'm going to work on things. some of that tomorrow, maybe. We've got a yeah. lot of things in the works. Um, some things to talk about. Some things that are going to be staying the same. Some things that might change. Who knows? Yeah. But, um... Go check out uh, Max Happy Coffee, Coffee with a Cause, and um, and yeah. thank you very much again for watching, and have a great day.